I'm starting a new series. And yes, you guessed it right, I'll be doing Alice in Wonderland for the next couple of weeks. First up, Cheshire Cat. I made the movie version instead of the cartoon version because I think the blue Cheshire Cat is more creepy and mystical. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. I started by covering my brows with glue stick. You can see my full tutorial on this one by clicking the link you see at the bottom of your screen. In here, I mapped out the mouth using a nude eyeliner. Cheshire Cat is always smiling, so I drew a big smile with just a couple of teeth showing. It should look happy, not scary. And then, I drew on the nose. I wanted cute little cat nose. Now I mixed white and black face paint and just painted it all over my face and neck. This will act as a base color to your look. Make sure to leave out the mouth and the nose you drew on earlier. Using black face paint and a thin brush, I traced the outline of the mouth and then added teeth using white face paint. Now, using a thin brush and dark gray face paint, I filled in the gaps of the mouth. Make sure it is nice and neat. Now it's time for the nose. I made the nostrils a bit bigger and a bit slanted, just like a normal cat nose. And then, I painted it with light pink and outlined it with black face paint. I'll be using basically these two shades of blue right here. I used the lighter blue eyeshadow all over my lid and then made a cut crease using the darker shade of blue. I also blended it inward to the outmost corner of my eye and then of course, made a cat eye using a liquid liner. Intensify the cut crease a bit more with black eyeshadow and line your waterline. Now, to get the cat-like nose, connect your brows with your nose typically what you normally do when making a nose line. But instead, make the brow line extremely higher. I used a couple of shades of blue, working my way from light to the darkest part which is the center of your brows. The Cheshire Cat has blue stripes on his forehead, so I alternated black and blue stripes using eyeshadow and then added a bit more blue on the side of my nose. This is the most intimidating part, the fur. I constantly worry that I might draw stray hair that I would look more of a crazy cat than Cheshire. I mixed a lot of colors with this one, switching from light blue to white or gray to black. But just remember this principle that wherever you put the light shades, you lift that area up. And wherever you put the dark shades, you subside that area down. So yeah, I put fur on my nose, the sides of my nose, my chin, and the black sides from my forehead. Just flick small check marks in one direction using a thin brush. And then, add more stripes across your chin using black and blue eyeshadow. I also contoured my cheeks using black shadow. Final details. I added smile lines using black face paint that I smudged inwards. And then, added long whiskers using white face paint. Don't forget to add small black dots as pores. I wanted a lot of highlight on this look. So after patting light blue eyeshadow under my eyes, I added light blue highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and my cheekbones. After popping on some blue contact lenses and thick lashes, I started painting on black stripes on my neck and shoulders to get that Cheshire Cat vibe. Last step, I fixed my blue wig and wore cat ears then you're done! All products will be listed on the description box down below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.